and welcome. I'm your host, Evan Mack, from the Channel Company. A report by GlobeNewsWire.com states that the global storage market will grow from $13.6 billion in 2022 to $38.5 billion by 2027. The market's expansion is attributed to the widespread use of storage brought by virtual work and the rising amount of data use. Exagrid provides tiered backup storage with a unique disk cache landing zone, long-term retention repository, and scale-out architecture. Exagrid's landing zone provides for the fastest backups, restores, and instant VM recoveries. The retention repository offers the lowest cost for long-term retention. I'm here with Bill Andrews, CEO and president of Exagrid. He's here to talk about Exagrid and their innovations within the channel. Welcome, Bill. Thank you, Evan. So, Bill, how can the channel play a role with helping organizations with business continuity? Well, sure. As you know, Evan, the, the channel is the trusted advisor for customers, right? Especially around security and securing and fortifying the network. Uh, when it comes to backup, however, customers often overlook the importance of, of security and backup. And channel can help customers to understand and educate them there as well. For example, uh, when there is a security threat attack, you want to be able to recover after that threat attack. It's one thing to secure to stop the threat attack, but what happens if it does occur? So with Exagrid, we have a non-network facing tier. It's a virtual air gap with delayed deletes and also immutable data objects that ensures that the data is available for recovery after an attack. And I think the channel can uh, help the customers to be educated around that. So Bill, what should you consider when you're securing your company data? Well, as you know, we're in the backup space, so I'll speak just about backup in general. With backup, you want to make sure that any data being transferred or replicated is encrypted. You want to make sure the data at rest is encrypted. But on top of that, you want to make sure the data is protected against threat actors. If they get on the network, that they can't come and either encrypt or delete the backup data, because the backup data is your last line of defense. That's what you need to be able to recover after an attack. And again, as I mentioned before, it's all about having that non-network facing tier that a threat actor cannot see and cannot access. And as long as you have that, you have the data available to be able to restore. So with that being said, Bill, what are some common issues that relate to backup storage? Backups need to be fast so that they're not running in the middle of the day using networking and server time, which impedes uh, user productivity. Two, when your user has a deleted file, overwritten file, encrypted file, corrupted file, they're able to restore quickly to keep user productivity up. You want to have automation and ease of use so the IT staff does not have to spend a lot of time on backup storage. And lastly, with backup, you keep a lot more data than you do on the primary storage because you're keeping weeklies, monthlies, yearly copies for all kinds of reasons and therefore you want the cost of storage to be low. And of course, what Exagrid does there is it has a very efficient way of storing the data such that you lower the cost up front and over time. And finally, Bill, how does reliability and redundancy impact the business? Well, obviously you have to keep your business running, right? Especially to be able to take care of your customers. And if you get a, have a security attack, or maybe you can have a ransomware attack, or maybe it's a man-made event like an electrical grid failure or a fire, or maybe it's even a natural disaster such as an earthquake or a tornado uh, um, or maybe a hurricane, right? In which case, you need to have the processes and the procedures as well as the equipment to be able to make sure you can recover from all of those events. I and mean, that is actually where Exagrid excels. Bill, thank you so much for your time today, sir. It was awesome and informative. Well, thank you so much, Evan. And if you would like to learn more, simply visit the web address on your screen. I'm Evan Mack. Thank you for watching.